My grandfather was a farmer, so I've grown up knowing how challenging it is to farm successfully. My team and I are using powerful intelligent computers to improve the chemistry behind the crop protection products to make them safer and more effective. In the past, chemists in agrochemical companies use plastic models to make molecules and see how they might interact with the target protein. And this was very time-consuming work, meaning they might only be able to research less than 10 molecules per day. Of course, computer technology has been around for decades, but the machines we use today are light years ahead of where we are even a decade ago. And they are faster and more accurate and easier to use. This is cutting-edge technology. Today, using computers like these, we can process hundreds of thousands of chemical structures that could possibly make up a pesticide with pinpoint accuracy. This is the same kind of analytical process that helped a computer beat the world's grandmasters in chess and other board games. The computer can analyze hundreds of thousands of combinations to make the optimal move. Machine learning and artificial intelligence helps us learn a series of computer simulations that give us researchers insights into how a pesticide might interact with target or non-target pests, or how it might impact the environment. These are things that might otherwise be missed in randomized trials or by our human eye alone. This can contribute to a reduction in the amount of active ingredient being used, a reduction in the toxicity of an active ingredient ensuring no harm to beneficial species like honeybees and help fight against resistance and means that the design behind the interaction can be as precise and effective as possible. To give you an idea, only 10 years ago, we had mapped and simulated only 40 million structures in total. Now, using computers, this number has shot up to 140 million as we hunt for the optimal structure. The rate of innovation is so high, and this means that the possibility for improvement is also immense. While today's computers enable this process, there is an important human element. We set the parameters for the computers to work to ensure pesticides are safer and more effective than ever before.